the first video out of five that explains the application process for the CGS doctoral scholarship. I will be going through the eligibility and timeline for this video. I'll start off with the background of the award. We have three tri agencies, the Canadian Institute for Health Research, Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council, Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council. So based on your subject matter, you will choose the appropriate tri council to submit your application. The award is worth $35,000 per year and it has a duration of 36 months. It can only be tenured at Canadian institutions only, and the eligibility criteria is to be Canadian or have permanent residency of Canada. The CGSD is broken down into two parts. The highest scored applicants will be awarded the CGSD, so the full $35,000 per year, and the second highest scored applicants will be awarded a PGSD scholarship. For SSHRC, the PGSD is worth $20,000. And for the NSERC, the PGSD is worth $21,000. The application deadline is specific to the University of Calgary. So each Canadian institution has a quota and we have specific internal deadlines that must be adhered to. So the Faculty of Graduate Studies has all the details in terms of the application deadlines. In terms of how to apply, the website has several application procedures and details on where you're supposed to submit your application. The application forms and instructions can also be found online at the links that are shown and the results are announced in April. For Indigenous students, institutions can recommend self-identifying Indigenous students beyond their award quota, and the applicants must first agree to this information being used in the application. For Black students, applicants must self-identify as Black as consent to be considered for designated funds. There are no additional application requirements and more information regarding the Black Student Researchers Awards can be found at the website that has been shown on the slide. So there are several reasons to apply for tri-agency scholarships. The first one is it gives you experience in terms of scholarly writing and grant proposal writing. It's prestigious. It can be an important metric of success for you, your supervisor, your program, and the university as a whole. If you do receive a CGSD award, the potential of securing additional funding opportunities greatly increases. It also potentially frees up your stipend for other graduate students and lab resources at the University of Calgary. The notice of intent uh, has currently closed, but registering for an NOI provides you with valuable support for your application. Transcript requests for CIHR and SSHRC is from FGS through the NOI form. NSERC applicants will fill in Form 201. This is a link on the NOI form, and you have to inform FGS after doing that. It, identifying references will be supported by FGS. So FGS will send your references details of scoring criteria and a guide to writing a strong scholarship reference. Information on further application support will be sent to you by the Graduate Leaders Circle workshops several mentoring cafes where previous winners of this award can provide support and you will be informed of any changes in the com competition regarding deadlines or submission guidelines. You need to submit your full ap application and check with the Faculty of Graduate Studies and this is usually in early October.
For submission of your full application, again, check with FGS. The deadline is usually in early October, so keep track of all the updates on the particular website that has been listed on the slides. The online application must be submitted through the agency-specific portal, and your transcripts um, are requested using the NOI form. So if you did submit the, submit the NOI form, that will be taken care of. The Graduate Scholarship Office will compile all your listed transcripts and format them into one file as required by the application portal. You will then be emailed one PDF. Please note that you are responsible for checking the details of your transcripts to ensure that they are complete and uploaded to your application. The review of the final version of your online application will be completed before it is finally submitted. So if you did not submit an NOI, you are responsible for compiling your transcripts on your own. So you will complete the CIHR uh, CGSD award form through ResearchNet at the link that is shown. Applicants and their supervisors must ensure they have the following. So first of all, you have to have a ResearchNet account. You have to have a CIHR PIN in ResearchNet and a CCV for the applicant only. For the CIHR Doctoral Scholarship, the CIHR PIN and primary supervisors uh, CIHR PIN are important in order for you to submit your application. So if you do not have one already, you need to request this and do it fairly soon because it can take up to three business days to process. You will require two sponsor or referee forms, your CCV, and your application will contain a publications list training expectations, a research project summary and lay abstract, proof of Canadian citizenship or your permanent resident document, and confirmation of scientific area form and signature pages. For resources for um, NSERC, NSERC online services portal is listed on the slides and the applicants are supposed to complete Form 201. For SSHRC, web-based forms and portal registration and login can be found at the website listed, and kindly check FGS website for links to all agencies. For the NSERC doctoral application, you have two referee reports on the applicant. You have Form 201, and the attachments are an outline of the proposed research, optional justification of eligibility of proposed research, then contributions and statements, which include contributions to research and development, significant contributions, applicant statements, and optional special circumstances if that applies to you. For the SSHRC doctoral application, we have the program of study, a supplemental special initiatives and support justification, research contributions, and an online CV. The referees will be two, and SSHRC will send the letter of appraisal directly to the contact email listed for that referee. Once the letter is completed, it is automatically attached to the application and the reference letters are all completed directly within the SSHRC portal. So it's important for you to start early. Writing a good application takes a lot of time and commitment. So make a schedule that can meet the competition deadline so that you're able to submit a strong application. Make sure you know what you're applying for, so read the terms of reference to confirm you meet the eligibility criteria and understand what is required to complete the application. For the eligibility, 
It is set by the TRI agencies, so you must refer to the website for the specific TRI agencies. And the eligibility criteria to apply while holding an award can be found at the website listed. In terms of resources, there are several administrative resources that can clarify your eligibility criteria or the forms that you need to submit. And we have four other videos in this series, so please watch them as well. They cover different aspects of the application process. Plan your support network. Your supervisor is very key in ensuring the success of this application. So work closely with your supervisor and your program. There are departmental workshops that could be held that can further support you. Consult current scholarship holders in your program and utilize the mentor cafes that have several mentors who hold these scholarships that can provide uh, several insights into submitting a strong application. So for peer review, the Graduate Leaders Circle is available that is very willing and in position to support your application endeavors and runs scholarship cafes and drop-in mentoring. The scholarship cafe appointments are 30-minute one-on-one mentoring meetings. You must register ahead of time so that you're able to secure a time slot because these appointments are limited and it would be best if you can submit a piece of writing so if you have a part of your application for example your research proposal handy or your research contributions it would be wise to have that submitted so that a mentor can review that and you can have a productive 30-minute session this is the link for the sign up cafes please sign up if you intend to apply for this award. You will receive a reminder of your appointment one day before. Drop-in hours are first come, first serve. However, we do ask that you, you register ahead of time using the registration link on the FGS awards page, and you will be let in from the Zoom waiting room once your mentor is ready to meet with you. So you can go to the link that is listed to attend drop-in sessions. In terms of contacting your referees, give them information about the competition, so deadlines, scoring criteria, how to submit a reference. These are very essential materials. Keeping in mind, your referees are very busy, so do your best to support them with all the material that is relevant so that they're able to write a compelling letter of reference for you. To access the portal and start the application, make sure you review the website and understand all the details that need to be submitted. Map out an application schedule and check points to ensure your progress plan your support network, and attend the sessions that the Graduate Leaders Council is providing. So scholarship cafes, application writing groups, and drop-in support. Ask the Writing Center to review your application. You can also review your application for spelling, grammar, formatting, or factual errors. It's important that you do not have um, several mistakes in your application. Read the instructions over again, and you will be in position to submit a successful scholarship application. So you can definitely connect and learn more about other workshops. All the links have been listed here. And the graduate scholarship officers are in position to support you for the Faculty of Graduate Studies, you can reach them via email. CIHR Elsa Lee can support you. Answer Kravinda SSHRC Sophia. And the Graduate Leaders Circle can also provide a lot of support.